What's up basketball fans, welcome back to Trash Stop. We're here with Rocky Padilla and I'm today here with Coach from Stabak Jakarta, Coach Gibi Gibi Zivanas. Okay. okay. How you doing coach? I'm good. I'm nice to meet you. So Stabak Jakarta. Yeah, okay. Okay, you learn Hindi Bahasa already. A little bit. <laughs> so, not a lot of fans in Indonesia know about you other than you from Lithuania. Yeah. And can you share with us a little bit where you coached before and your background? It's my uh, seventh country I'm working. I started in Lithuania uh, when I was 18 uh, with youth teams. Uh, then I moved step by step uh, to third division uh, men team, uh, then to second division uh, head coach. And then I moved out uh, from Lithuania to, to Poland, okay. uh, top division. Then I moved uh, to Italy, uh, Sicily uh, with uh, women basketball, okay. uh, Serie B. Uh, also, I went to Iran. Uh, but only few months uh, in uh, Naftabadan. Uh, last season I started as head coach in uh, Denmark, top division. Uh, but uh, in the middle of season I changed team to the better level uh, in uh, Estonia. Tallinn uh, Kalev, Ramo. Uh, it's not about Estonian basketball, but we played in the Russian league. It's called BTB, United League, with, with uh, one of the best teams in Europe. So it was great experience. I was assistant coach there with uh, with head coach, who actually is a, a student, ex student of such great coaches as Atora Messina, okay, Tora Messina, who is right, right, right now with San Antonio Spurs and uh, other big big names. So I learned a lot from that coach and uh, here I am right now in Indonesia. So what was your reaction when Stapak Kupara asked you to be the head coach? Ah, it was the uh, first reaction was like a joke, you know. <laughs> really? Yeah, because I, I met uh, I met Indonesian people the first time Indonesian team national. Yeah. I, I met them uh, last not this summer but uh, one summer, summer before yeah. in Kolnitz in my hometown. They were having a camp, and I was just doing one practice for them, and we started to talk a little bit with managers, with uh, with some coaches. Hey, maybe you like to join, blah blah blah. And I was like, I knew that I have contract with Denmark team, uh, so I, I told them uh, politely, let's say diplomatic, yes, why not, you know, maybe one day, but truly I didn't believe it would happen. And then when uh, uh, this season uh, I, I finished uh, my season, uh, they contacted me, it, it was a small surprise for me. Uh, I had still option to, to stay in a in, in good level, but as assistant. So, so this was like a reason for me why I choose a head coach position uh, in Indonesia. And then, so, I know you, you, you did a camp with the national team. So you know a little bit about Abraham and also maybe big man Vincent? Yeah, Vincent, uh, I know him uh, because we also practiced there in Jakarta one, one week okay. before he left here to China. Uh, so yeah, I, I know a little bit them, um, so, but I would like to know them better. Okay. Especially Vincent. Especially Vincent, yeah, yeah. I think he's coming probably like in a couple of weeks, right? You know more than me. <laughs> <laughs> I talked to him a lot. So, let's talk about the preseason. You guys were the champion, congratulations. Yeah. So, what stood out to you about this team during the preseason? Ah, uh, it seems like if, if people are only basketball fans, they, they, they would think, ah, they, they won the tournament, they are maybe good, they have no problem, and I completely don't agree, because uh, we have a lot of problems uh, with uh, injuries, with the uh, number of uh, players uh, on our practice. So far, we did only five practices in two months, uh, five on five. So, uh, <laughs> so yeah, today was, was one of them, so I, I'm happy to see him, uh, which, which is improving 5-on-5, five five, uh, because uh, our, our most important thing is to improve every single day. Uh, so, so far so good. I mean, uh, we have our own plans, condition plans, physical plans, uh, tactical plans. So far, more or less, we are we are working according to those plans. So everyone was impressed by the ball movement during the preseason. 
Was that something that you stressed to the team by the ball? I think the best offense is when uh, each player can touch the ball. Okay. Each player can uh, feel a uh, teammate. Uh, but I, I still think that uh, players will start to enjoy our offense when they will start to do much more stops in defense. Okay. Because it's, in offense it's automatically much more easy to, to play offense when you play good stops. When you stop opponent, when you stop leader of opponent, and the self-confidence uh, just comes to you. And, uh, in, in, in offense, I, I believe it's fun to, for, for players to play. But still, we have a lot of room to improve. Actually, you guys were pretty small during the preseason. You must be impressed by their defense. Yeah, but uh, small doesn't mean that you are uh, weak. I mean, uh, for opponents, it's sometimes it's even uh, more complicated to play because they don't know which, which one to guard. I mean, we are playing five out, everybody on the three pointer. So, if, if imagine if uh, opponent big man is low, so it's automatic problems. And defensively, we can put uh, pressure because we are mobile five. So. Sometimes it gives you some advantages, but I don't believe uh, it will uh, give you advantage all season long. Maybe in one game or another, yes, but uh, anyway, you need uh, to have some size on your team. So, uh, we know that we're gonna have, you guys are going to have some import players come in. Are you worried that the ball movement won't, won't be the same? Because you know that most import players are all done. Yeah, I saw, I saw last season the games. And I completely agree with you uh, because it's like, let's say, Asian style. China and the Philippines, uh, I see that everywhere the same. But uh, again, it's uh, two players are joining us, but our system and our uh, tactics will stay, will stay the same. Uh, so uh, we'll see who is coming. Uh, first of all, it's very interesting personality of those players. And I believe they will be great teammates. For sure, we are ready for everything. But uh, I believe they will enjoy to play uh, European style. Uh, a little bit mixed with American style. So uh, we'll see what will happen. It's, it's, it's exciting and it's uh, coming very soon. So uh, we are really waiting for invitation. Bonus question. Who is your all-time favorite player from Lithuania? <laughs> I would tell, I would tell Sharuna Sisikavich. Oh my god, the same thing with me. Uh, because, uh, you know, as a playmaker, he was the, one of the best, if not the best in all Europe. He won a lot of Euro League titles with different teams, it's not so easy. He was called like golden boy. Yes, he played in NBA, but uh, as he wasn't very athletic, it wasn't his style, so he moved back to Europe, to Euroleague to win more titles. But what is impressing me more, that when he was playing on the court, he was like a coach on the court. Yes. I'm, uh, every time uh, every time telling his teammates what to do, every time helping them to be better, every time pushing them, uh, that was a great example for our kids who uh, want to play a good level. Also, right now he's uh, he's head coach of one of the best teams in Europe in Euroleague, uh, my home team, uh, Tona Jalgiris, and he's uh, he's actually working only three years as a coach. But right now, all Europe is talking that he's one of the best now already. So uh, big respect for him, and uh, I, I I really admire what he does and. Uh, Actually, it's not a secret that I stole a lot of ideas from him <laughs> to, to, to stop my team. So, yeah. yeah, I like him too. So, Coach, thank you very much for the interview. Okay. Good okay. luck this season. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm going to watch you guys all season long. Well. Support stop I will. <laughs> okay. They know, they know. <laughs> so, thank you, Coach. Good luck again. And thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, don't forget to comment and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next video. Peace. Terima kasih. Terima kasih.